Good day, Empowerment Technologies Learners. This is Sir Carl. Welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, you are going to learn how to use animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint allows one to create a slide presentation and you can use animation to beautify your presentation. Get now your tablet or computer and let us now have animation in Microsoft PowerPoint. For this presentation, I have started creating a PowerPoint presentation. I chose the default template design. If you want to change the design of your PowerPoint presentation, you can go to the design tab and choose the design that you want to apply in your presentation. As you can see, I have already encoded contents and to finish this PowerPoint presentation, I am going to include um, pictures and of course apply animations. Now, how are we going to apply animations? Um, to do that, you need to highlight first the part of the presentation you want to have animation. After highlighting, press the animation tab. And if we talk about animation, there are animation for entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion paths. You can use animation not only um, for letters or for words in a presentation, but also for pictures. Now, I am going to choose one um, animation for the first slide. So I am going to choose float in. So I am now going to move to the second or to, to the second slide. As you can see, here is um, a content about Facebook. In this presentation, I I'm going to focus on the examples of social media platforms as the content. Now, let us apply um, picture. So I am going to adjust this one because I want that um, you are going to see the um, information uh, on the left part of the slide. Meanwhile, I am going to put the picture to the right uh, portion of the slide so in a powerpoint presentation you can adjust this part now to apply or to integrate picture there are two ways you can um, copy and paste the picture or you go to the insert tab and select pictures Now let's locate the material that I am going to put in the presentation. Here's the picture of Facebook. By the way, I am using pictures that are um, under Creative Commons license. So in this presentation, I can move the picture any in any part of the slide now let's apply animation to put or to have animation for the picture that um being integrated on the slide or in the slide we're going to have this process put your cursor on the picture click it go to the animations tab now i want to use motion paths so let's try uh, these turns okay so i need to have more effect options let's try up 
okay so the picture is visible compared to the other turn effect that I um, press a while back so I need to resize the picture okay so to check if the motion path is working press the slideshow let's see so it works now we're going to apply animations to the rest of the slides so let's go to instagram now i'm going to adjust this part next i'm going to put um, pictures or picture of instagram So I will adjust this one. So let's have animations. So we're done applying uh, the animation or the animation for entrance and um, motion paths. Next, let's choose emphasis. So let's use spin. Okay, so I'm going to look move the picture so that it will not block uh, the words once that it will be presented next let's go to the fourth slide let's put um, the logo of twitter so i need to adjust this one let's go to pictures select the logo of Twitter let's have an animation for exit let's see if um, it works or if it is appropriate for our presentation or for the presentation okay. let's try hmm. Let's try the shape. Let's see. So I am going to put the last picture for this presentation and i am going to choose um, any of the animations available in powerpoint uh, software same process if you're going to insert a picture you can press um, pictures under the or under the insert tab snapchat let's adjust it let's go to animations select shapes let's check for the effect options under shapes let's try square okay so we're done applying animations in our PowerPoint presentation. As you can see, you have seen how uh, this simple presentation presentation turned out to be a dynamic one. Um, maybe the advice that I can give for you is that if you're going to use animations, use it properly, sometimes um, overuse of um, overuse of animations can affect the presentation uh, presentation and of course if you are going to use animation make sure that the animation is um, appropriate to the presentation in some cases there are um, animations that can um, affect the presentation 
So let's have this one. For the second slide, if you're going to um, use another turn effect like this, let's um, choose this one. We have um, down right. What will happen? So as you can see, the Facebook logo is not um, visible 100%. So please choose the animation that can help you um, deliver presentation effectively. Once done, press the save button and if you're going to save it for the first time you need to put or you need to name the file um, uniquely uh, that's it this is the lesson about custom animations if you have questions do not hesitate to ask and for more videos um, just uh, watch under this channel and do not forget to subscribe.